What if the first sign of alien life wasn't a signal, wasn't a spaceship, but a molecule? In 2025, scientists made a discovery that stunned the world. The James Webb Space Telescope detected a strange molecule floating in the clouds of a distant planet called K218b. It's called dimethyl sulfide, DMS, and here on Earth, this molecule is only made by life. No message, no contact, no flying saucer, just a silent chemical fingerprint drifting through the hydrogen clouds of a planet 124 light years away. So, what does that mean? Could this be the first hint that we are not alone? In this video, we'll take you on a journey across deep space. To understand what K218b really is, how we detected molecules on a planet we can't even see, and what it might mean if something is alive out there. Because sometimes the most powerful messages in the universe are, aren't shouted. They're whispered in the language of molecules. So, what is this planet, K218b? Where is it? What makes it so special? And why, out of the trillions of worlds in the universe, did this one whisper back? To answer that, we need to meet the planet itself. K218b, a name once buried deep in NASA's planet catalog, is now at the heart of one of the most profound scientific mysteries of our time. Discovered in 2015 by the Kepler Space Telescope, K218b orbits a small red dwarf star, cooler and dimmer than our sun, but still warm enough to host planets in its so-called habitable zone. That's where K218b lies. A place not too hot, not too cold, just right for liquid water. But make no mistake, this is not Earth 2.0. This planet is a super-Earth more than twice as wide and eight times heavier than our home. Its gravity would crush you. Its atmosphere is thick with hydrogen, creating immense pressure and clouds that stretch for kilometers. Some scientists believe it may be a Hycean world, a theoretical type of exoplanet with vast subsurface oceans hidden beneath hydrogen-rich skies. A planet like that might be uninhabitable on the surface, but deep below, shielded from radiation, life could bloom in its alien seas, just like hydrothermal vents on Earth. Its year? Just 33 days. Its sun never shines bright like ours, just a deep, haunting red glow. And despite its distance 124 light years away, we somehow know all this. But how? How do we detect clouds, oceans, and invisible molecules on a world we can't even see? To answer that, we have to look at the most powerful eye humanity has ever built, the James Webb Space Telescope. How can we possibly study a planet that's 124 light years away? A place no human will reach for at least a million years. And yet, we know its mass, its orbit, even the molecules floating in its sky. How? We don't take pictures of K218b. To our telescopes, it's just a tiny dip in starlight when the planet passes in front of its host star. But that dip? reveals secrets. Using transit spectroscopy, the James Webb Space Telescope does something extraordinary. As starlight filters through the planet's atmosphere, each molecule leaves its own light fingerprint. James Webb Space Telescope breaks this light into a spectrum. From that spectrum, we can tell what floats in the sky of a world we cannot reach. And this time, it saw something unexpected. What if a single molecule meant we were not alone? A molecule that here on Earth is only produced by living things. Would you believe it? 
because that's exactly what the James Webb Space Telescope may have just found. On K218b, it's called dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, it's made almost exclusively by life, specifically by microscopic marine organisms like plankton and algae. So when JWST detected a faint signature of DMS floating in the hydrogen-rich clouds of a distant world, scientists were stunned. Was this the first chemical whisper of alien life? But as always in science, discovery comes with doubt. Some experts warn DMS could be a false positive, the result of unknown chemistry or errors in data interpretation. Others argue there is no known non-biological way to create this molecule in such abundance. The debate has become fierce. On one side, scientists like Professor Niku Madhusudan from Cambridge who led the discovery say this could be a revolutionary hint of life? On the other, skeptics like NASA's Ryan McDonald urge caution, reminding us of past false alarms. So what do we really know? We know that JWST detected methane, carbon dioxide, and possibly dimethyl sulfide. These molecules don't prove life, but they could be the footprints of something living beneath the clouds of an alien ocean. And if they are, then for the first time in human history, life may have just raised its hand from another world. Even if K218b holds life, could we ever live there? Let's compare. K2-18b is nearly nine times heavier than Earth Gravity on the surface would be crushing. Walking would feel like carrying a small car. On your back, its atmosphere? Not oxygen, but hydrogen-rich gas, toxic to humans, and possibly dozens of times denser than Earth's. Its sky is not blue, it's thick with haze, bathed in the dull red light of a dying star. Its year, just 33 days, and if there's an ocean, it might lie beneath a crushing layer of gas in total darkness, warmed only by the inner heat of the planet. Any life there would be alien in every sense. So no, this is not a place we could live. Not now, but maybe it's not about us. K2-18b wasn't made for humans. It may be a world where only microbes thrive, where life never built machines, never launched rockets, but exists quietly beneath the clouds. And that, in itself, would change everything we thought we knew about life in the universe. We look up at the stars, not just to see, but to understand. For centuries we've wondered, are we alone? K2-18b hasn't answered that question, not yet. But it has whispered something, something that feels closer than ever before. Not a radio signal, not an alien message, but a molecule, a chemical footprint, a silent echo drifting through clouds 124 light years away. Maybe it's life, maybe it's not, but either way, this discovery reminds us of something deeper, that life might not be a miracle limited to Earth. It might be the rule. Out there, beyond the noise, among billions of stars and trillions of planets, maybe something is looking back. Maybe something else is wondering too. And one day we might not just ask, are we alone? But instead, who else is out there? waiting to be found.